Hey, hey, yeah, wait. What's up you guys, Johan, AKA Yo Expo in the building, here to give you guys a little review and quick tutorial on the X-Pen. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to the Thrive to Infinity brand that was started in Houston. Shout out to you. I will give you a link in the description to check out their merchandise. Um, also things that you buy also go towards good deeds that go around the nation. So shout out to the Thrive to community, <laughs> excuse me, Thrive to Infinity. Also, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up if you like it. And if you didn't give a thumbs down, it's all good, it's all love over here. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for watching this video. Leave some feedback and let's get into it. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is open up a new file. All right. So for my new Photoshop users, what you want to do is go to the top left hand corner, select file and select new. Now, as you can see, you can choose from a lot of different sizes. I usually just stick to a custom size unless I know I need to make something specifically for a size that is needed. For example, when I make a YouTube banner, I know it has a certain pixel ratio and I choose that ratio. But for now, I'm just working with a standard drawing. So I'll just pick default photo size or custom and I'll stick to custom and now I click create. Now the first thing you wanna do is double click this background and press okay. And now once you do that, you have made your background a layer that you can delete and also use. All right, so now I'm gonna create a new layer. As you see, I made a new layer and I'm able to delete my background, okay? But I wanna use my background for now so that I can be more accurate while I'm creating my teardrop. So now when I create my teardrop, I'm not really going for perfection because teardrops aren't perfect. All right, so I want a little darker teardrop. So I'm gonna go right here. I think that's a good color. Let's click here. All right, so you see this panel on the right side? This is where you can choose your teardrop colors. That color, perfect, perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my brush tool. All right, and that will be on your toolbar window right here. Oh, your toolbar might be somewhere else. It might be over here, it could be anywhere. But if, it's, if you don't see a toolbar window, what you wanna do is you wanna go to window and you wanna collect, select tools, all right? As you see, it went away, but as I go to window and I select tools, it comes right back. So if you can't find your toolbar, that's where it is. All right, so what we're gonna do now is select the brush tool, all right? Now I'm gonna use a pen. Now, I'm going to change my size to 20 because that's a good size. And now I'm going to use my X pen to attempt to draw my teardrop. Now I'm going to use the X pen pad to zoom in. This is a great feature about the X pen pad so I don't have to keep going back and forth between keys. So I'm going to use the button, the button right here to zoom in. And I'm going to use my hand tool on Photoshop, as you can see, to grab the picture and adjust it to where I need to be. Now, I'm gonna go back to my brush tool and I'm gonna fill in this teardrop. The good thing about the X-Pad is, is that it goes by your pressure. So if I wanna draw really lightly, if I press lightly on the pad, it draws lightly, as you see. But if I wanna get heavy, if I press a little harder on the pad, the brush strokes get bigger. And that's a great feature to have on Photoshop because look, if I wanna get real small and tiny spots, I can do that without having to change my brush size as I'm going. This really cuts out a lot of time, especially for animators and even people like me who are just getting into animating and getting into drawing. It cuts out a lot of time from having to go back and forth to the keyboard. So it's a great feature. Perfect. Now that I got my teardrop to the shape that I like, I'm gonna add a lighter tone to the drop in the corner of it to make it look a little more appealing, a little more realistic, even though I'm going for a cartoony look for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my mouse and I'm gonna bring it over to the color section and I'm gonna choose a little lighter blue. I'm gonna go right here. Should be good. Boom. Now I'm gonna take it over here. I'm gonna place it on my teardrop. What I'm going to do now is since I have the teardrop that I like, I'm gonna take this same teardrop I'm going to morph and edit them into different teardrops so when I animate them on my video, it will look way more realistic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this teardrop and we're gonna save it as a PNG. But before we do that, we need to take it off the background layer. So now all I have is this teardrop on the background. Now, you wanna save this as a PNG because if you don't, it's gonna save as a JPEG and a JPEG is gonna save the entire picture and not just the teardrop. 
all right? So what we do to do that is there's multiple ways you can do it. You can go to export and quick export as PNG. That will always save things as PNGs, okay? I'm gonna go to my music video file where I want to save this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this teardrop and actually morph it into other teardrops. So I'm going to go file and I'm going to go open. I'm going to go back to the teardrop that I just saved. And I'm going to open this PNG. Now, as you see, it's a PNG. And I can actually take this teardrop and move it around and edit it as I want. So now I want to create two teardrops that are morphed into different ones. And I plan to have the teardrop coming to the right. So I want to kind of bend it inwards. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit transform and warp. Now I can take this and bend the teardrop any way that I want, as you see there. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm going for. You can click anywhere on the teardrop and bend it. Perfect, and once you're done, you go to the top right arrow and you put select. Now I'm gonna save this teardrop as well. File, export, quick export as PNG. Teardrop, two. And now I'm going to bend this one another way. So another way to export this, so you don't have to do it quickly, is to go to export as, okay? And when you go to export as, you wanna save it as a PNG file. As you can see, it's already in the PNG format right here. So once it does that, all you gotta do is hit export all. And it's gonna export all your layers. And I'm gonna save this as teardrop three. Okay, and hit save. Now, before I close this, I wanna save everything that I have just in case. Save, and I'm going to close this, and it's gonna ask I wanna save that. Yes, save that as well. Save project as untitled is fine. Now, what I'm going to do is open Adobe Premiere. Okay guys, here's the finished product. Thank you for watching the tutorial. You can see I also added some more things that I did to the video just to give you a look at what else you can do. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Peace out.